Welcome back. Thank you very much for staying with us. Now, British oil and gas multinational BP will no longer support airport refueling in South Africa. The company says it based their decision on the company's current global business strategy. Now, last year, there was an issue with the refueling Russian aircrafts in South Africa due to sanctions on the country. Then the state stepped in and offered to service those aircrafts. Neither AXA nor BP are saying if the decision is related to that fallout. Let's get some analysis now from aviation expert Putejo Mujabile. Mr. Mujabile, good morning and thank you very much for your time. You know, this development is interesting on several fronts. Firstly, the possible reasons behind BP's withdrawal and then the viability of AXA's new refueling plan. But let's just start with the withdrawal. Speculations abound that it had to do with South Africa's position on Russia. Where do you stand on that? Well, uh, yeah, um, I, I obviously not, um, you know, uh, I'm not in politics, but I think what is important here for us to understand is that once you have companies that are not going to comply with the uh, uh, country's foreign policy uh, on certain issues, um, it, it, it caused quite a lot of uh, strain in relationship in between um, those um, companies with, this, with the country that is hosting them. I mean, BP is an international company, and therefore uh, they would want to keep their position in between themselves and their country that they originate from. So possibly that would have a, an impact on the decision that they made to pull out of South Africa, uh, particularly on the stand that they took. Uh, mm -hmm. with regard to the Russian aircraft that was not refueled here. It might be uh, that issue, uh, but at the moment it's just a speculation, so we don't know as well. Mm -hmm. And many people seem to think that, but AXA was quick to come out and say, listen, our plan or our refueling plan was actually conceptualized way before even the Ukraine-Russia war, so it has nothing to do with something along those lines. So in that respect, could it then be a possibility that, yes, they may have conceptualized the plans way before, but that particular uncomfortable position, the incident where Russian aircrafts could not be refueled, perhaps led to them dusting that plan and deciding to move swiftly along with it now? Yeah, most probably, yeah, it's, it's possible. Look, the Portfolio Committee on Transport, or AXA, appeared before Portfolio uh, of Transport uh, recently, where they tabled the plan um, as to how they are going to do things. You'd remember that AXA had been engaging with uh, different departments uh, after the issues of the fuel, uh, starting from the Devon, you know, during the floods, and then there was issue of the um, the uh, the uh, um, the supply from the sea uh, yeah, that, that was could delayed. not come mm. into. Yes, they are delayed uh, into Cape Town, booking into Cape Town, and so on. So there has been uh, engagements uh, in, 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 in different uh, departments, and therefore they had to come up with a plan. But in 2020, there was a proposal in, on the table before the Portfolio Committee of Transport here in Cape Town. And they have uh, uh, proposed that they want to take control of the entire supply. You'd remember that the current plan that we have in our airports is that these multinational companies like your BP and, 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 and others that are there, they have uh, leased the facility from yes. AXA, meaning that they have total control of what is happening there. The, the fuel uh, uh, um, storage, they have the, uh, the, the entire um, conduit that end up inside the airplanes. Uh, they have control of that. But the AXA has... Um, is the owner of that. Now, what AXA is trying to do on the plan is to entangle these companies to have control, at least to have uh, just to supply into uh, uh, the main supply, and then, then AXA will take it from there. And I think it's a, it's a fairly good plan if they would implement it accordingly and, and give it to one supplier who it belongs to South Africa, uh, but not an international company that will comply with their own rules uh, in their own uh, countries. I think it, it will also create an opportunity for locals uh, to be able to participate fully uh, into that economy which has been dominated by these multinational companies. Mm -hmm. But having that independent body, a single independent body, where they're now just only purchasing the jet fuel from these other suppliers, would that not be a mammoth task to sort of manage? 
Well, I guess they have done their due diligence um, as far as uh, that supply is concerned. I understand that uh, Petro SA has been engaged on this. Petro SA is one of the, uh, the biggest uh, that we have here in South Africa. And, and they are currently in, in discussion with AXA to be able to take over. Uh, as to whether they've got skill and expertise to be able to run the aviation sector, it's something that we would uh, like to see uh, happening if they are going to be successful mm -hmm. to take over uh, that. But, but that's uh, already being debated. That's already being debated with some experts coming out to say they lack the experience. Yes, we've heard that come the 1st of April, they'll be taking over some of BP's fuel terminals. But many have raised concerns around this to say they have not been in the jet fuel trading or managing of refueling at airport space. They are very new in that particular space. Well, uh, it, it could be debated. Um, I mean, once you take up a responsibility and you assume the responsibility of anything that uh, you don't have an expertise on, surely you would have done your groundwork to make sure that there is no risk uh, as far as uh, supply is concerned. And I'm, I'm sure um, Petrosa and management, they have done their due diligence and to make sure that there is no instability as far as the supply is concerned. And uh, I do believe that, uh, you know, um, the, the AXA has changed many companies, even now on the, um, the ground handling. They have changed the companies. They have been teething problems there and there. But eventually you do have uh, uh, operations stabilized as the time goes on. And, and these, are, these are changes that happen all the time. And I think um, everybody who might have issues with uh, uh, Petro SA being given opportunity to supply, I mean, uh, th there is absolutely no problem for anybody to doubt if they'll be able to do that. But uh, we just need to give them an opportunity to test. And uh, if that doesn't work out, then they, they, they are themselves to be blamed. The opportunity is there for them. So I'm, I'm not worried about who, whether they're going to deliver or not. So what is important here is that the South African company needs to take control of uh, our own things and be able to, um, uh, you know, to, to offer opportunity to South Africans. All right. Mr. Mujabila, thank you very much for your time this morning. That was aviation expert Puteho Mujabila.